Hey guys, Rational Panda here for Protogen Gaming, bringing you guys a tech tutorial video. Uh, if any of you guys own a Windows 7 laptop, uh, preferably a gaming laptop that is multi-core, this is a great tutorial for you guys. It's, I'm going to show you guys how to unlock your parked cores. Should get Cam Studio out of there. Sorry about that. I'm going to show you guys how to unlock your parked cores. Uh, parked cores are basically uh, CPU cores that aren't being used by Windows. Windows kind of locks them down and only uses them when your computer really needs to uh, some, for power saving or something like that. So if you're worried about power saving, then uh, I guess you can leave them parked. But if you're into gaming on your laptop and you want a little more power, or actually a lot more power, I, uh, I my experience with it, I got a lot more power from this. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to unlock those parked cores and get the full power you paid for when you bought this multi-core system. So first of all, we're going we, we, sorry, we're going to want to open Task Manager. Now to do this, we're going to hold Control Alt and Delete. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm looking at right now, but there's a list that says lock this computer, switch user, log off, change password, and then Start Task Manager. We want to hit Start Task Manager. That's going to bring up this window right here. You want to make sure that you're on the performance tab. This has some CPU usage and memory usage data, but at this point we want to go down to resource monitor and hit that. This is going to open up a new box. You want to make sure that you're on the CPU tab of the resource monitor. And over to the right, it's going to have a list of your CPU cores. So basically, <clears throat> about half of your CPU cores are going to be uh, parked. They're, the text is going to be grayed out and it's going to say parked next to them. I already unparked mine, so they're all sharing the load of the computer processes at this point. But if you, if any of your cores, or any of your CPUs are labeled parked, you're going to want to follow these next few steps to unpark them and use their full power to your advantage. So we can close that out or minimize it, whatever you want. We're going to be going back to that later. Now at this point, we want to pay attention to this string of letters and numbers. Now this is a registry code or a, the name of a certain registry that we're going to edit. So at this point you want to select that string of numbers and letters and copy it or control C, whatever you want. Now we're going to head down to the start button and in the search you're going to type REG edit. This is going to bring up the registry editor. So. Over to the left here, this is pretty important. You want to make sure that H key local machine is selected. Make sure that that certain registry folder is selected. And then we're going to go up to edit. Now find. Now paste that code that you copied into find and hit find next. That's going to search your registry for the certain, uh, the certain registry we're looking for may take a while. In the meantime, uh, I'm going to tell you guys, I am going to start making a lot more of these tech tutorial videos. They're pretty fun to make, and I feel like I can help a lot of people that are uh, PC gamers. So, we found the certain registry, and we're going to edit the value max and the value minimum. So, we're going to double click on those and make sure that the value data is set to zero. And hexa hexadecimal can be selected, that's fine. And we want to make sure that value max and value minimum are both set to zero. Uh, I think the if your cores are parked, these are going to be labeled 64. The value is going to be 64 or something. But I already unparked mine. So we want to make sure that they're zero. Hit OK. And then go up to edit again. And then hit find next. This is just going to search again for any copies of that certain registry. And you might want to do that five or six times and just make sure that all of them are set to zero. So once you're done, you can just exit out of that. And I guess we don't need this anymore. Don't say I don't need that. Now, we're going to open up the task manager again. Hit Control alt delete select Start Task Manager, and then Performance, Resource Monitor, uh, CPU tab, loading up your CPUs. Then off to the side, you should have all of your CPUs unparked. They should all be sharing the load of the computer processes, and you should see some performance improvements very soon. Thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for more tech tutorials on Protogen Gaming.